I've not been filming my summer training runs because I have all four children home for the most part. There's some camps here and there and I have to get up, uh, well right now it's 6.30 a.m. to run because it gets too hot later in the day and I can't run with two when I have two others, don't know what to do with them. So long story short, I have been getting up early to run. I have been very consistent in June and July. I'm super proud of that. And I decided this week I'm gonna try to try to vlog my runs because I've varied my distances and workouts whereas before in May and for some parts of June I was only running three miles every workout. So I added some tempo runs at one point and now I've been doing speed work. Today is just a three to four mile run seeing how I feel and how I'm doing for time. I'm gonna listen to a Peloton digital, uh, probably Robin, and set off. Robin Peloton Digital Run this morning. She said this, she also says this in her book, Shut Up and Run, but she thinks it's very important to have a mantra or a power phrase or just something that picks you up. And for me, the month of July, that has been show up. It's as much about flexing whatever mental muscle gets me out the door for a scheduled run as it is the speed and the pace and the endurance. That's what this month has been for me, and so far it's been successful. I'm going into week four. I've had all my workouts. For me, I've had the ability this month, and um, I found the time, and I've seen it through. So I'm really proud, even more so of that than my mileage. And um, I'll see you either tomorrow for cross training or on Wednesday for my speed workout. Wednesday and for the past four or five Wednesdays it has been speed work day um, I don't particularly like speed work I have been running a year now and for the most part avoided traditional speed work uh, my body does not respond well to it if I am doing it alongside building distance I can only do one thing um, I know that both from people telling me and it just being generally good advice and from experience and injury. So uh, I started doing it uh, mainly because 
it was recommended to me by my Portland Fit coaches, but also because I just feel like I'm up to challenge myself and that's what speed work is. It's challenging myself and pushing my pace in kind of a safe, controlled way. There's a lot of speed work in disguise. There's um, running hills. There are, um, I think pushing the jogging stroller for me is almost like speed work because it slows me down and then when I'm without it, I can gear up. I, I've been running long enough and I think my body is in good enough shape that doing speed work for the last few weeks has been good for me and I have I have seen an improvement in my pace. I um, was up in the middle of the night last night for no reason. I had this horribly, horribly painful pimple and it's like swollen my lip and I'm very tired but I'm, I'm on my way out and I'm going to get this over with and then I'm going to go to physical therapy which I rather enjoy and go on with my day one more workout and then this weekend I get to race so let's let's go let's get this over I don't have a track in my immediate neighborhood. And so what I do on mornings that I don't wanna get up and drive to a track is I have this flat stretch of land <laughs> that you probably can't see because of the sun, but that I just run up and down on. Um, I have my speed work set as a workout on my Garmin. It beeps both to, both to alert me to switch intervals and also I have a pace set on it so it tells me when I'm within my target pace. So for the next 12 minutes I'm just going to run up and down the sidewalk uh, and check in how that goes. This is riveting content but here we are. Long for this. Let's do a uh, Tell Me When To Go by E40. Okay. Watch set, sip of water. Okay. the recovery a lot more than I did last week but I'm doing well on my fast paces so one more and this is done done Woo. I'm in my second interval much better mood today like way better mood My 400th mile of the year. Oh, I just did it! 2.61 miles into this room is 400 miles for the year. I'm so grateful. 283 miles last year total. Oh, I feel great. Tired. But yeah, I feel great. Back in the bush. Ending the week on a high note. I'm in such a good mood. 400 miles for the year. I'm almost at 70 miles for the month. And uh, I just had a 5K and I felt really good during it. So ending the week on a high note. This has been my summer training for the week. I hope going into detail is helpful for somebody or at the very least fun to watch. And um, I will see a lot of you <laughs> 
at the Seafair Capital One Torchlight 8K this weekend. Ooh, this week is almost over. I will see you soon. Bye.